Hey everybody, it's Hunter's Quick Tuts. Just going to show you all a quick thing on how to get gadgets and how to use the gadgets you already have on your computer. Two things I want to cover in this video. So right here are the gadgets I have already pulled up out of the pre-installed one. These are nothing new I have downloaded yet. I'll take you step by step on how to get new ones and exactly what gadgets are. Now gadgets are basically like little apps, but they're for your computer. And basically they give you the information that you want at a glance, literally at a glance. So as far as my CPU, I'm using 43% um, just from my screen recording software and mic recording software. Also right here we got a picture thing, you can click on it, move it around, it kind of gives you something fun to do whether you got time to waste or not. <laughs> Um, and then up here you got more of the weather. Now the weather, as you can see in the background, I don't know, you should be able to see it if you go full screen. There's a moon, so basically it'll tell you wherever it's at, if it's night or day, the temperature, and then where it's telling you it's from. Now you can go in here and click the little setting button, and then you can come in and type in your location. I live in Florida, so let's see if we can get it up. And we'll say Miami, Florida, that's close enough, so we'll click on that and click OK. And now Miami, Florida. It's nighttime outside, partly cloudy, 73 degrees. Now that's not exactly, but it's pretty darn close and you can actually find exactly where you live. Now what I want to show you is how to get these and how to use the one that are already on your computer and then also get new ones. So if you right click and you go down to gadgets, not personalized, that was the last video, gadgets, right above that, it will take you to your gadgets. Now you can't, I tried just clicking them, it didn't work. What I found worked was dragging them and it just comes up right there tell your time same thing with this gadget uh, you want to set it to where you're at so it can tell you the exact time now what I just recently downloaded was piano it's uh, not as cool as I thought it would be but still pretty cool you get bored you can just start you know clicking on that I know y'all can hear that now um, and then weather and media's player and all the other stuff now the only ones that didn't come with this is the piano one so now to get new ones all you gotta do is go down here and click get more gadgets online you click that it's gonna pull you up in a minute I got tons of stuff going on here but on your uh, browser it should be the only one or if you got YouTube pulled up which is me um and it'll bring you to this long page of just tons of crap and you can go and you can search for new ones and stuff they probably have got some really cool ones now the one I got was the piano but we can get any of these let's say you want something with Twitter okay so you get click get now alright it's gonna take you to this page you click download. Now there's going to be other stuff and there's going to be other buttons. Just make sure you click download and I'll make sure you can see my mouse right there. Now this isn't super hard, but it's nice to know exactly what to click. So it's going to say unverified publish or, or uh, unverified submission. All that means is that some person made it and submitted it to him. They didn't they haven't gone through and you know checked him out, checked out his background, made this doesn't hack your computer or anything, which it's on Microsoft's website, so I'm sure it'll be okay. Just click install. Now after that, Google Chrome should pull it up. Um, it might be a little bit different for you if you're running Firefox, Safari, Opera, any of those, but it should be generally close to this. Now you want to save this in a document. I've, I keep all my stuff under my documents just in case I ever have to save it back to another hard drive for any reason. But I made a little thing called Gadgets, a little folder. And you're going to want to do that because eventually, I mean, depending on how you are, you might have 30 of these, 1,000, or just one. Um, so just make a little folder, double click it, and you want to save it as whatever it says. Um, it shouldn't matter if you change the name of it, but it's usually already named pretty much what it is. So you want to go ahead and click save on that. Now mine comes up down here, my downloads, you might have to go to programs and then documents and then downloads. But uh, mine comes up right at the bottom, so I just double click it. Now it's opening. Should pop up in one second full screen minimize there we go okay it was behind my web browser you just want to hit install alright and now it's already magically popped up here and here now you can search Twitter and do stuff with this it's just another app and you should be able to move it completely around your screen wherever you want some people like it right in the middle some people like it below doesn't really matter now that's pretty much it um if you don't want one Say you didn't want this one, it was getting on your nerves. Just click the little X, nothing hidden about that, no tricks and tips to that. It should be pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So now that you've got it, um, go get some gadgets and uh, tell me what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.